Hey everyone, welcome to Anaheim Park Tourist. Today we're going to show you how to identify a hotel room on hotwire.com when it is a blind booking. That's right, so we are planning a trip to the Disneyland Resort area in a couple of weeks, and when we started our trip planning, we were blown away by the hotel prices in the surrounding area where we usually stay. So we thought we would book our hotel room using hotwire.com to save a little bit of money and be more budget conscious. There are two methods to identify hotel rooms on Hotwire. The first is via hotel review and that method is not working in the Disneyland area. The reviews are currently off. The second is a more surefire method and that's when Hotwire provides an actual photo of the hotel. We have been 100% successful when booking this way on Hotwire. But now our big disclaimer, when using Hotwire, nothing is certain. We are not sponsored or make any money from Hotwire. We have no affiliation to Hotwire. We're just trying to show you methods to save money in the Disneyland area. Once you hit that book button on Hotwire, that room is your room. You cannot change it, you can't change hotels, and you cannot cancel. It's non-refundable. If that scares you at all, you might wanna book directly to the hotel that you're looking at. Jim's gonna hop right into it and show you how quick and easy this method is to identify the room. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a couple of examples. Uh, the first being uh, this top hotel listing. We're gonna open this up and what we're gonna do is click to reveal the actual photo. We're gonna save this image to our computer. And once that image is saved to our computer, we're going to open up a web browser to images.google.com and we're going to upload that photo. Once we get our Google results, we can scroll down and we can see that the picture matches the Clementine Hotel. When we go to that web page, we see an exact match for the Clementine Hotel. This room is at the Clementine Hotel. Next, we're going to click this uh, hotel. It says it's new to hotwire.com for 179 a night. Once again, we follow the same exact method as the last time. We click and save that picture to our computer, upload that picture to images.google.com and get our search results. And that result is the brand new Radisson Blue, which is a great hotel, but this one's a little bit out of our budget at this time. In this instance, we cannot find an exact match for the hotel room, but if you notice the wallpaper matches, the decor matches, and we're pretty much safe to say this is the new uh, Radisson Blue. The final room we're going to look at is the room we actually book. It's within our budget, it's $101 a night. Once again, we're going to go ahead and click on the image to download that image and save to our computer. Additionally, this hotel gives us some indicators what it might be. The first is the Anaheim Majestic. The second is Hotel Lulu, which is formerly the Red Lion Inn, and Hotel Indigo. Well, we've actually stayed at Hotel Indigo, and I can tell you right now that this hotel is not the Indigo. We go ahead and upload this picture to uh, images.google.com and we get our result. And right within the results, you can see Hotel Lulu and you see the actual hotel photo that was on hotwire.com. We decided to guarantee ourselves queen room, so we booked the room at $102 a night. And on the right-hand side, you can see our total comes to $147.64 with parking. Next, what we wanna do is make sure the hotwire rate is a good rate. So we go ahead and open up uh, the Best Westerns website and we look at the exact date that we want to book. And we book two queen rooms and it is 134 night if we prepay. We're going to compare the prepay rate to the hotwire rate because both require payment. And with taxes, it comes to 157.86. With parking, we can add another $20 for a total of $177.86. The hot wire rate with parking is $147.64. This is about a $30 savings. It's not significant, but every little bit helps the budget. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in my details and show you the actual room we get. And sure enough, it is Hotel Lulu. If you found our information entertaining or valuable, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week.